obscure as hell wasn't natural causes. Brad, what did you do? You don't think that... Are you kidding me? Sir, are you kidding me? I came in here and I found her like this, Katie. She had a scarf wrapped around her neck. You know, she was strangled, but I didn't do it. Please tell me you believe me. Nobody move. Both of you just stand back over there where I can see you with your hands in front. Marco, we're not criminals, don't Then you? don't behave like one, Katie. So I'm guessing that she was already dead when Brad called you and you just neglected to tell me that? Katie had nothing to do with this. Neither did you. Brad found Spencer like this when he got here. She had that, with that, that, that scarf tire in. Just stop talking. Do you understand? Oakdale PD. This is Hughes. I need forensics at the Lakeview. We have an apparent homicide. How could this be happening? That's the way I felt when I came in. Why did you? Why didn't you stay away like you were supposed to? That scarf was around her neck when she was found. I don't understand if it was around her neck. How did it come off? Obviously, the crime scene was compromised. All right, I want a complete CSI. I want blood and hair samples, carpet fiber, and a quick estimate for time of death. Okay, I'll have the ME call as soon as he has one. All right, that's all for now. Yeah, you two buddies. Do don't talk, don't talk. Just go, don't talk. I went to Metro to look for Henry. He wasn't there. I was on my way out when Spencer called me. And what did she say? She said that she felt sorry that uh, things got so out of hand and that she wanted to meet up with me and repair the damage. Her words, not mine. I'm thinking, hell yeah, my career is in the toilet and my marriage is hanging on by a thread all because of her. So I'm thinking, whatever I can do to turn things around. Well, what, what, whose idea was it to go and talk in her room? Well, no one's. We were supposed to meet in the lounge. She wasn't there. I asked the bartender if he'd seen her. He hadn't, so I, uh, you know, I went up to her room. How'd you get in? Door was open. So you say that she was dead when you found her? Yeah, she was. You know, I mean, at least, well, I mean, I didn't think so at first. I thought she was messing with me, trying to scare me or something. But then when I realized that wasn't the case, I, I did what I... I could uh, help her. What meaning? Well, I took the scarf off her neck and I gave her CPR. I'm sorry for messing up the crime scene, but I mean, I had to try to save her, didn't I? All right, so the hotel surveillance camera will verify what time you arrived there and the bartender will tell us what time you went up to Miss McKay's room. Great, that's fine. And any prints or marks found on her body will ID the killer. I hope it does. Brad, Spencer filed assault charges against you. She said that you attacked her after she rejected your advances. Ma, I didn't make any advances. She came after me. And because of her lies, you stood to lose everything. Don't you think you were pretty angry? Yeah, damn straight I was angry. Margo, yeah, but not angry enough to want her dead. I did not kill her. And you did not throw Leo Morrissey into the reservoir. Oh, come on, Margo, that's not fair. He assaulted my daughter. It presents a pattern, Brad. I can't believe he went back to her room. He was there before? Yeah. Spencer had lied to Kim about him, so he went to confront her, and apparently she was pushing him out of the door, and somehow her blouse got ripped. It was an accident. It's okay. This is insane. I know it sounds insane. Okay. I promise you won't get angry if I ask you something. What? Any possibility that he and Spencer were... What? I know the two of them were working together pretty closely. And you and Brad, from what little I gathered, you were having... Brad was not having an affair with Spencer I, okay, McKay. I'm just playing devil's advocate here. What if she threatened to tell you about them? Stop it, okay? Jack, he didn't kill her. I'm sorry. I get paid to look at all the possibilities. 
Can I get you a cup of coffee? Something? Okay. Yes, I... I might have had some suspicions. A little. And Margot has too, but I can't believe he would do something like that. Can't? Or don't want to? The room contained evidence of only two sets of fingerprints. The victims and Brad Snyder's. Are you sure they were his? Yeah, we have them on file from his last arrest. Oh, yeah, but he's been in her room before. Maybe the person that killed her was wearing gloves. There's no evidence of anyone else being in the room at the time of the death, so... What was that time? Um, according to the medical examiner, sometime between 5.15 and 5.45. Surveillance cameras? Uh, Brad entered the lobby at 5.21. He went to the bar at 5.28. He headed for the elevator. <sighs> Leave the file on my desk. I'm really sorry. No, no. There's no way he could not have done this. Jack, I need to talk to you about Carly. What's wrong? It's Brad. Am I free to go? Uh, I'm afraid not. What is it? What happened? Based on the evidence I've received, I have no choice but to arrest you for the murder of Spencer McKay. You have a right to have an attorney present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand? I do. Jack, you can't let this happen. There's nothing I can do for him this time. So where are we going? Come on, down to the Wait, wait, Margo, please. Oh, five minutes. Someone is playing a sick game here. I'm being used. But who? I don't know who. I don't know why. I don't know what to believe anymore. This is like a horrible nightmare and I can't wake up. Listen to me. I did not try to seduce Spencer. I did not kill her. Hey, please, you are all I have. If you're not behind me, I have got nothing. ridiculous. I've known Brad since high school. There's no way he's a murderer. Yeah, a few months ago, I would have said no way. Now, I just don't know. Are you with me? No matter what? I'm with you. Good. Because if we're together, we can get through. Okay, it's time. directly to the crime. If Brad is innocent, and I pray for Katie's sake that he is, he's going to have a hell of a time proving it. 